I'd like to introduce you to Packard shutters, talk to you about what they are, and then how they work with Deerdorf cameras. I think you would agree that lenses can get very heavy as you increase negative size, and longer lenses that cover 8x10 or even larger can easily weigh over a pound. But exposure times with such lenses tend to be measured by the second, and it makes little sense to mount these lenses in an even larger and heavier shutter, such as an ILX number 5 or even number 4. This is especially the case when you are simply using a T or B shutter setting anyway. The Packard shutter is a way to cut down on weight by replacing an ILEX with some very light and thin machined metal parts. A Packard shutter is feather light and has some added advantages over an ILEX. No oiled parts, for instance, so it works better in the cold. You have a solution of more lenses, yeah, sorry, you have a better selection of lenses also to choose from. Lenses that are not already mounted in a shutter, and especially that would include enlarging lenses. Also, a Packard shutter can be directly mounted to your camera not your lens. So one Packard shutter can universally serve all the lenses you will ever use on that camera. Packards are one of the earliest types of shutters and date to the Civil War. There are two basic types, an instantaneous number 6 and a number 5. With both types, you press on a bulb and air is driven via tubing into a cylinder on the shutter, which opens the curtain. When you let go of the bulb, that is, so air is released from the bulb, the curtain closes. The shutter is as accurate as your bulb control is, which can be up to about a quarter of a second. The number six has the instantaneous addition where it can also be fired at one twenty fifth of a second. Here is shutter in use. Note the hand squeezes the bulb and then the curtain opens and closes on that command. Here the bulb and tubing have been removed to expose just the cylinder. Now we are manually executing the curtain rather than pneumatically, that is by air and bulb. Packard shutters come in all different sizes and your two concerns will always be is the aperture, that is the hole, big enough to cover your negative size and the accompanying square frame size will it be right for wherever it will end up fitting. A whole size of two and one quarter inches is fine for eight by ten with all movements and will also cover ten by twelve again with all movements. The ideal place I think to purchase a Packard of this type is on eBay. I would suggest a buy price of around $75 for this size of Packard. Add in another $15 for bulb and tubing. You can also purchase a Packard new. Google Packard shutter for the maker who is now in Mariposa, California. Now that you know what a Packard is, part two will talk about mounting a Packard into your camera.